Well, welcome back once again, all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers, and thanks for your continuing support towards my classic dirt bike TV channel. Now, I strive to continue to bring you the very best content with regards long lost motorcycle marks, and in this feature clip, we are showcasing another rare British classic. So please stay with me for the next few minutes as we explore a few examples of the long lost Sprite GT Motorcycle Company. And in this video we are going to feature five examples of this uh, long lost British classic that were of course designed and built right here in the UK. Now the Sprite Motorcycle Company was founded by Frank Hipkin, who was a very experienced trials and scrambles rider in the 1960s and he had many successes in his racing career. Now Frank began by building bikes from whichever parts he found available at the time, although his home built machines were so good he was inundated with requests from other riders wanting him to build machines for them. So in 1964 he decided to go into business and joined forces with Fred Evans to form Hipkin and Evans and named their brand new company Sprite Motorcycles. Now by 1971 Sprite Motorcycles were running three factories, one in Hales Owen, one in Lyle and a further factory in Tividale which were all located in the West Midlands of the UK. Now our first example of these lovely Sprite Scramblers is quite a special bike in that this particular machine belongs to Frank Hipkins' uh, grandson who is of course Lee Kelly. Now this is a 1969 uh, Sprite model. Now of course all the frames for the bikes that you're going to be seeing here are all built by the Sprite company. Now this machine has the iconic 405 Sprite motor and it is said that uh, these 405 two-stroke engines were an Italian clone copy of the very successful 1960s Husqvarna four-speed motor and uh, if you look quite closely I must admit there is certain uh, similarities. Although for all the years I've been showcasing these types of dirt bikes, you think you've seen and heard it all with regards to all the different British motorcycle manufacturers from back in the day. And then uh, all of a sudden these little sprites pop up and show you another long lost uh, motorcycle manufacturer. I have to admit I was uh, totally ignorant of any of these uh, little motorcycles until I visited the Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show and found these superb examples. Although finding out about these old classics reminded me uh, about how I recently discovered the story of the Wilco Motor Motorcycle Company from Herefordshire in the UK who were another family who built some very nice motocross machines during the early 1980s and then of course vanished into obscurity although some of their iconic bikes still live on in private collections. But it's great to discover yet another long lost uh, motorcycle uh, mark from back in the day with these lovely sprite frames and that lovely 405 engine with uh, the fiberglass fuel tanks uh, which were uh, quite popular in the 1960s and 70s. Well, that's our first Sprite motorcycle, a 1969 405, belonging to Lee Kelly. Now, our next uh, lovely Sprite example is a Sprite GT Racer. Now, this is a beautiful 1971 405 model that uh, obviously looks like it's uh, been fully restored and is a fine concourse example and I'm sure Frank Hipkin would be very proud of this uh, lovely little bike. 
and there's certainly something about these old classic bikes that have the look that you could never get with a modern day dirt bike that's uh, covered in plastic. There's some good old fashioned engineering going on here with uh, that two stroke motor, those uh, alloy mud guards and those uh, nicely handcrafted aluminium side panels. Now these sprite machines are certainly not a household name when it comes to seeing them uh, racing on a racetrack and uh, for me personally this is the very first time I've heard of them or even seen one in the flesh so to speak. But over the course of the two days at the show there were many other nice examples of these sprite machines on display in this collection although naturally I uh, never had the time to check them all out but the ones I did see were as uh, you would expect up to this very high standard. Now these sprite motorcycles were more or less all sold in kit form back in the 1960s and 70s. Now this was done mainly to keep the costs of the machines down and to of course avoid paying purchase tax to the UK government which they would have had to pay had they been selling these as complete uh, motorcycles. But of course Sprite did sell complete motorcycles uh, but for export only and uh, these were exported to the likes of the USA and Australia. Now when Frank Hipkin started to export these sprites in large numbers, the British government, in its wisdom of course, closed the tax loopholes that Sprite were using, whereby the US importer, who were American Eagle, then went into liquidation, owing Sprite a huge sum of money, which uh, was just too great for the Sprite company to absorb, and they ceased motorcycle production in 1974. Now many of the different companies used different titles for these machines. The uh, Americans were offered this machine as the American Eagle 405 and the Australians knew this particular bike as the Alron 405. But these were superb little machines and performed really well back in the day and uh, there are very few examples of uh, this uh, classic British mark available and we are very lucky to have come across uh, these five machines that uh, we are looking at here at the Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show. Now here we have another nice example of another 405 Sprite uh, this time in a nice uh, green and alloy uh, livery on the tank. And this bike uh, naturally fitted with an alloy fuel tank rather than the fiberglass uh, tanks that we have uh, looked at uh, previously. But another fine example of one of these British classics with that lovely alloy fuel tank, those uh, highly polished mud guards and side panels and of course this uh, based on the old 1960s Husqvarna motor. But these sprites for me are certainly a machine uh, that I've never seen on a racetrack in the 30 odd years that I've been uh, following these old classic uh, motorcycle bikes but uh, Hopefully, uh, we'll maybe see one of these on the track in the near future. But this is another example that looks like it's uh, undergone uh, some kind of uh, refurbishment or restoration in the past. Very nice looking uh, little motorcycle. Now, of course, these engines, when these were exported to the USA, they would have had American Eagle uh, engraved on this uh, clutch casing. 
Now if you look close enough you can see that these sprites had a very unique uh, air filter system. Now this was a very purposeful uh, alloy air filter air canister with what looks like uh, one of the older paper air filter elements inside. Certainly a far cry from your modern day foam filter that you could remove, wash oil and then refit it for continued use. Although this of course was the early 1970s remember and this was the technology of the day. Now many of the components used to build these little Sprite motorcycles were all made at the company's own uh, factories including uh, these forks which were all made in-house by the Sprite manufacturer. So there was virtually uh, no components whatsoever uh, bought in to build these machines. Uh, almost every single part of these bikes were manufactured by the company. But they're very nice uh, looking machines and each one of these uh, Sprite machines is of course slightly different from the previous and he had some very nice design features including this uh, nice air filter system. So another nice example of one of these British made Sprite 405 motorcycles. Now our next featured Sprite model, now this particular bike was called a Sprite 405 Fastback. Now this is of course a genuine uh, rider's machine that has not undergone any type of restoration or refurbishment. A nice genuine old fashioned looking uh, classic dirt bike. Now this machine also has this uh, very nice alloy fuel tank which for me complements the rest of the machine and looks great with these uh, Sprite GT logos uh, emblazoned on the side. But another uh, genuine uh, looking motorcycle with of course that 405 motor. Now of all the five examples we are going to look at here, this machine appears to be the only one with the Sprite uh, logo cast into the magneto side of the motor. Now the reason for that is, uh, of course I'm unsure but I can only expect that this is uh, a different uh, type of engine that's uh, fitted to this particular bike, although it could be that it just has a different uh, magneto cover. But this Sprite example appears to have the look of the old 1960s and 70s with naturally no plastic to be seen with that lovely alloy uh, engine in the old style carburetor and of course these old uh, alloy uh, side panels. Now there was no information uh, regarding this bike on the day so uh, as to which particular year this bike is um, uh, unsure but uh, another beautiful looking machine with that lovely alloy fuel tank and of course the Sprite emblem and made in England on the side. Now back in the day Sprite motorcycles had a trading uh, slogan which was called uh, Built by Riders for Riders and uh, I'm sure there will be a few of my YouTubers out there who will remember uh, that particular uh, slogan. But it's just great to see a few nice examples of this long lost uh, British uh, motorcycle mark and uh, for us all to take a look at these uh, lovely Sprite uh, GT motorcycles. 
Now I may be mistaken in this respect, but I'm 99% sure at least three of these machines that we've featured are fitted with the Italian-made uh, Boriani wheels. And uh, the reason I mentioned this is because I actually saw the name stamped on the rim of the wheel while taking these snaps. But another fine, unblemished example of one of these uh, lovely Sprite 405s. Now to finish off our look into these long forgotten British classics, our final bike is a 1974 Sprite framed Hodaka 125 trials bike. Now the owner of the machine uh, told me that this bike originally came from Canada some years ago and the owner claims that this is possibly the only Sprite framed Hodaka 125 in the UK. Now as you know Hodaka was a company that manufactured motorcycles in the 1960s and 1970s. Now the company also went by the name of Pabatco, which was an abbreviation for the Pacific Basin Trading Company whose headquarters were in Athena in Oregon. But these little Hodaka motors are rumoured to have started the trail bike craze that was hitting the USA in the early 1970s. They had some weird names for these motorcycles like uh, the Ace 90, the Ace 100, the Wombat, the Combat Wombat, <laughs> the Super Combat, the Super Rat, and even a name called the Dirt Squirt <laughs> and Road Toad. Uh, it's a wonder they sold any motorcycles at all with names like that. But despite uh, these Hadaka's weird motorcycle titles, they sold in absolutely huge numbers and were very popular in the USA and Australia. But this particular bike is still a very decent trials version with that uh, 125 Hodaka motor in, of course, that superb uh, Sprite frame. And nevertheless, uh, since discovering this beautiful set of these old British machines, I've certainly learned a bit more about the Sprite Motorcycle Manufacturing Company. And uh, up until I actually saw these machines, I knew absolutely nothing about the bike or even the manufacturer. So it was good to learn something about this uh, long lost British company. But it's certainly something different and uh, more importantly, an extremely rare collection of another long lost British motorcycle uh, manufacturing company. And for me especially, this has been another educational trip down memory lane, learning more about the founder, Frank Hipkin, and the wonderful legacy that he uh, left behind him. But once again, I hope you enjoyed this uh, trip and uh, if you like what you see then please continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel and that way you will never miss out on any of the other classic dirt bikes that I upload to my channel. So once again, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, look at these beautiful Sprite uh, motorcycles and uh, please stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more of these old classic dirt bikes. This video was brought to you in association with Wildsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.